Hello everyone and I welcome everyone to this channel of YouTube which discusses uh, major topics in the area of innovation and uh, touching based on the technology policies which would be framed keeping in mind this new era is emerging with a lot of uh, technicalities and those technicalities are to be dealt in the right format. So today I'll be discussing about the security space and especially uh, where everybody is coming online in terms of the kind of uh, tenure we are going through right now I think and I believe there would be a lot of innovations in the space of IOT and IOT has to be understood with the big data and once these two topics are dealt the emergence of technology policy is going to play a major role so this video is going to talk about the links which are very important to develop proactive strategies for technology driven companies in the industry for era given the fact that ICT and cyber security are two main aspects which are to be dealt in the right manner so what kind of innovations should be foreseen in this regard and what kind of data protection strategies would be implemented is the question stakeholders across the globe are trying to answer the need of the hour is to identify the weak links and work on those links to sensitize the users of that application so that the users are more efficient and they know how to use the resources in the best possible manner. I'll give an example in this case. The first example is Sobo. So SOBO stands for company owned or business owned. In this lockdown period or I would say in this the year 2020 we are seeing a lot of people are working from home and in many cases people are not allocated the general work they were doing because of the sensitive matters which are very important and how those data points can be secured in a home based internet is the question everybody is trying to answer so when company owned devices or business owned devices or any other device which is given to the user in this case would be the people who work for an enterprise how that data is secured and that data is not shared with anybody else. So in that case what is important is the sensitization programs. So what adoption should be done and how those adopted habits are proven to the public at large is something everybody is pondering right now I would say a lot of technologies are being developed just to keep a track about what websites are being browsed by the user so one is Sobo the other is BYOD so that is bring your own device and the another concept is CYOD choose your own device so there are a lot of places whereby you know uh, the users are given the opportunity to bring your own laptop just uh, log into the server and you can work and so whatever you are working on that is being 
stored in some kind of cloud server then the other concept which i was talking about is cyod that is choose your own device so when you have the ability to choose which device you want to log in so the onus is on you because it was your conscious decision to select in the ambit of things digital declaration has been signed and i would be discussing the digital declaration in detail in my upcoming videos and how that digital declaration would be utilized in the benefit of the users and how users should be sensitized that what data pointers they should be talking about when they are writing in the online media or whether they are posting content in the online media or i would rather say the social life of a person is being watched out day in and day out so you have to be very careful in the aspect of what to disclose and what not to disclose coming back to the point there is a lot of scope in the awareness programs deducing good awareness programs and how those sensitization programs can be provided to the people who are working in a ecosystem where data is very crucial i think uh, there's a good scope in that domain having said that i believe this video was of some kind of assistance in terms of forcing the kind of opportunities which are existing right now so if you have any questions regarding how to strategize policies around it how to build ip portfolio that means intellectual property portfolio in terms of whether what kind of contracts you need to sign so intellectual property portfolio not only includes filing protection for your technology or innovation it also includes the branding exercise and the branding exercise has to be done in terms of how your consumers are going to perceive your brand third very important aspect is the trade secret of your company how you can protect it through the way of signing documents and important documents i would rather say there are a lot of documents in terms of the contracts the agreements which you sign and whether you are the user or you are the person who is being employed by that company what kind of resources they are investing in you you should know your rights and you should know what you are getting into many a times even without reading those documents people just sign it and many a times you would see there is a clause where there is a competing clause and there are so many clauses which i think in the current scheme of things need a due consideration a lot of times people think the business is going to run it doesn't run in that way due to multiple factors it can be internal factors uh, outside factors so one has to be very um, cautious about it in said that looking forward to your inquiries my name is priti khastegar you can connect with me on linkedin and you can go through my uh, profile and happy to discuss any kind of collaboration to work together and um, take the mandate of uh, india's 5 trillion economy and let's make it happen wishing everyone all the very best for this year and years to come bye bye jai hind